victories in both Virginia and New Jersey. Uh, I think we've seen that the Democratic Party is starting to lose its luster. The star power of President Obama is starting to wear off due to their leftist uh, policies of him and the Democratic Congress. Uh, today, we give yet another reason for the Republican Party to celebrate, and this is particularly special to me because this is my home county. Uh, when I became chairman, we knew that if we could start competing at the local level, if we could start taking the courthouses, that the Republican Party wouldn't have to worry about maintaining the victories that we've already enjoyed at the state level. And this is one of what I expect to be many uh, times that we'll come together to announce where we've had a county that has been Democrat controlled and in one day swap to being Republican controlled. Uh, at this time, it's my distinct honor to introduce our governor and our head of our party, Governor Haley Barber, for a few words. And governor. Congratulations. Uh, as a state chairman who's really done a good job and that we're very proud of, and uh, the, the results of his first year state chairman speak for themselves uh, in 2008, uh, this is another great event that speaks for itself. Uh, we now have a majority of Republicans on the Simpson County Board of, Board of Supervisors, the sheriff, Carner. Uh, you can see this great bunch of legislators, Republican legislators who represent some or all of Simpson County, Transportation Commissioner, <clears throat> Dick, we're glad you're here, Delbert, and uh, let's see, Tate's here, I don't know if Phil's here or not, but for the state officials who are here, thank you for being here. Uh, in Mississippi, uh, we vote overwhelmingly Republican for president for senator, uh, seven of our eight statewide elected officials are Republicans. But we need to have more of what we're seeing today of conservative, right-thinking local officials who have run as Democrats because they historically ran as Democrats. And increasingly we're seeing in uh, counties like Simpson, not just the big counties, like Lauderdale or Harrison or Jackson, but increasingly in middle-sized counties like Simpson County, uh, good elected officials who've done a good job, who've decided it's not that it's not good enough to stay a Democrat because you always ran as a Democrat in the past, or because that's what people have historically done. That with what's going on in Washington. Now is the time for right-thinking Mississippians at the county level to make a statement. To make a statement that our congressional delegation can hear as President Obama proposes a government-run health care system that will drive out the private health care system we have now that will cost jobs and will increase the cost of our health care. Uh, that the president's proposing an energy policy that's terrible for Mississippi, terrible for Simpson County, that'll cost jobs and drive up the cost of energy. And don't think things like this are not heard uh, by people in Washington, particularly people who represent us. Now, we're all very grateful to have Greg Harper who represents Simpson County, but the other members in our delegation will notice this too. I want to say welcome on behalf of all the Republican officials here and on behalf of all the Republicans here. I want to say welcome to the sheriff and to everybody who's involved today from Simpson County. We're very proud to have you, and we appreciate the statement that you're making about uh, the Republican Party and the fact that the vast majority of Mississippians' views are very consistent with those of the Republican Party. Thank you all. our honorees, I'm going to call on Ms. Jan McGee, who is our Republican County Chairman in Simpson County. She's no stranger to our party. She's been serving on the county committee for more years than she probably cared to remember, and is the daughter of uh, former Congressman <coughs> Prentice Walker, who was the first Republican that Mississippi sent to the United States Congress back in 1964. So Jan, this time if you'll come and recognize our honorees. Well, we in Simpson County are working 
I would like to say our Republican Executive Committee, as well as the Republican women, we work together. Ruby Ainsworth is the chairman of the Republican women. By working together, we can achieve things, and we feel like we have achieved things. Um, I have been a member of the Executive Committee since the early 70s in Simpson County, and the first time I voted was in 1964, and it was Republican, so I've been a Republican ever since. Um, our first official that I want to introduce is Eddie Bowen. Eddie is our 13th judicial. <laughs> Eddie serves the 13th judicial, uh, excuse me, not judicial, circuit um, district, which includes four counties. It's Simpson, Smith, Covington, and Jasper County. He was first elected in 1999, and he was re-elected then in 2003 and 2007. Next, we have the sheriff, Kenneth Lewis. <laughs> Kenneth was first elected sheriff in 2003 and then re-elected in 2007. He's a former Simpson County constable and supervisor. Next, we have... Mickey Berry, who is the 4th District uh, Supervisor. <laughs> That's my supervisor. Okay, he uh, served as supervisor from 1996 to 2004, and then he was re-elected in 2007. When Mickey uh, switched to the GOP today, we now have control of the Board of Supervisors. We have three supervisors out of five. Two supervisors are up here today, Pete Lowry and Randy Moore. I also want to tell you that uh, Mickey's father served many years as supervisor also in that same district. Uh, the next person is uh, Justice Court Judge Eugene Knight. He could not be here today. But he was elected Justice Court Judge in 1999. He was re-elected in 2003 and 2007 without opposition. His switch now makes the Justice Court Judges of Simpson County unanimous Republican. Uh, <laughs> Judge Ted Blakeney was already a Republican. Next, we have Constable Dan Easterlin. Okay, Dan. Is, uh, Dan was, uh, pardon? Dan the man. Dan, <laughs> Dan was elected in 1987 and re-elected since with overwhelming support. He makes both constables now a Republican, Simpson County Republicans. <laughs> Constable Dan, uh, Randall Coleman is here. Okay. Randall switched parties last year. In fact, he said he's the one that started it. I'll switch. <laughs> That's what he was telling me today. Our coroner, Terry Tudor, could not be here today either. He was the Republican nominee for the coroner in 2007. And he ne was narrowly defeated by the incumbent. The incumbent passed away recently. And uh, Terry was appointed by the Board of Supervisors to fill this vacancy. And therefore, he is uh, announcing his affiliation with the Republican Party today. I'd like to mention the fact that our election commissioners, uh, I know there are a few here today, but of the five election commissioners, the Republican Party of Simpson County controls four of those. So we're very proud of that. Uh, we welcome all of these men into our party in Simpson County, and we are there to serve and to help. And. Uh, we know, I want to repeat something the sheriff said in the paper. Uh, the sheriff said in the paper uh, yesterday, this is the local paper, that uh, the Democratic Party, he didn't lose, leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left him. And he, they, their thinking is on the conservative line, the same way we think, and therefore they are welcomed into our party. Thank you.
also want to mention that the two municipalities in Simpson County that run partisan elections, both of them have Republican mayors. John Henry Berry, who we're not going to let speak for sure, and Randall Neal, <laughs> and Brandon Hall and Dilo. I, uh, I, too, on behalf of the party, join the governor and Jan in welcoming y'all to the party. We look forward to working with you to see you reelected and see you uh, continue to serve the people of uh, Simpson County and your areas uh, the way that you have. Obviously, we have too many officials to let everyone make a comment, uh, but everybody will be available for you afterwards if you want to get one from them. And with that, that concludes our press conference. Thank you for coming.